Hello and welcome to New Central Television. I am Liko Onobanjo. New Central now at this hour begins in the west of the continent where the Nigerian government has unveiled the much-awaited national carrier, Nigeria Air. The event is currently ongoing at the Nigeria Air Terminal located within the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in the nation's capital, Abuja. Nigeria's Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, while speaking about the carrier, says that the unveiling is proof of the federal government's commitment to putting in place infrastructure which are a catalyst for the growth and development of any nation. New Central's Abuja Bureau Chief Amadin Uyi is on ground to give us more on this latest development. Thank you so much, Amadin, for joining us. Thank you so much. So, uh, amidst uncertainties, legal battles, and even talks about the fund earmarked for the launch of this particular project, we have seen that the Nigerian Air has landed. The Nigeria here is now there for everyone to see at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. I'd like you to just describe the mood, how the people are feeling, and most especially for the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, who has said that the process was long, tedious, and daunting. Yes, uh, for the Minister, when we spoke to him earlier on, he said it's one of the excitement because remember that the Nigeria Air Project had been on the table um, from the first. Uh, from the first tenure of this current administration. We could not uh, achieve that target at the end of 2019 and went back to the drawing, uh, drawing board. Uh, but what the minister is saying is that he is happy that he, he promised that the Nigeria Air Project would uh, commence before the expiry of this administration. And now that the Nigeria Air, uh, all who are at the airport can physically see the plane at the time when he's confident that operations can start, can to start as soon as possible. But then, Amadin, is there any possibility or any true in the claims of the aviation minister that um, the aircraft would start flying, it will begin operation before May 29, when it will be the presidential inauguration. Because um, there have been talks about um, different rigorous processes that will need to be carried out by the Nigerian um, Civil Aviation Authority uh, before it is cleared to fly. So are there any assurances that this aircraft will definitely fly before May 29? No, what the minister said in very clear terms was that... Uh, what the government has done is part, but the airline will have to go through the normal uh, regulatory processes. It has to be cleared by the NCAA before passengers can begin using it. But government has invested its own funds, 5% uh, investment, or you rather call it equity, uh, as part of its own part of the deal. Why is this is a CPP project, public-private partnership project? And he insisted that the airline will run like every normal airline that runs in the country to commence domestic routes after it has received this clearance, then after then it can now begin to target international routes. But now that the airline is in Abuja at the Namdi Azikwe Airport, uh, when it gets its clearance from the NCAA, then the public can begin using it. All right, Ahmad, there have been arguments about the partnership deal that the Nigerian government has had with Ethiopian Airlines that is meant to help um, carry out the growth of this particular project and see how it can be sustained. I'd like us to talk about the ownership structure. Who takes the lion's share uh, between the Nigerian government 
and the Ethiopian Airlines that is said to be the one to manage the launch of these aircraft. And of course, in terms of revenue benefits that should come, uh, where do you think the pendulum will sway? No, for now, the Nigerian government has only 5% equity uh, stake. The minister said after several years, they can begin to sell uh, to the public for Nigerians who want to invest. For the Ethiopian airlines, since they, are, they will be the operators, they are coming on the table with 77 years experience, uh, earning over $1 billion in revenue for Ethiopia. Nigeria, Nigeria government, Nigeria government is believing that they can replicate that feat in Nigeria, considering our number. We have the market, the largest market in West Africa, and one of the largest in Africa. So government is hoping that the Ethiopian team, that take of of running the Ethiopian airline for 77 years without interruption, uh, they can run the Nigerian, uh, Nigeria Air Project and then ensure that in a few years, uh, Nigeria can begin to make uh, enough profit from this venture. All right. Okay, so Amadin, earlier on we saw the um, aviation minister talking to the people with excitement as regards um, the project at Air Nigeria Air, as it were. Now, why did it take it this long for this project to come on board and be launched? Because there have been times where we thought it would happen maybe two years ago, a few years ago, even from the time that it was announced. Why did it take it so long for this project to fly? Now, remember that it's not just a project that once it's approved by Fed, government brings out money and it begins to run. First of all, it has to go through some uh, uh, processes, uh, some, uh, some gatekeeping by the federal government, look at the ordinary business case proposal, get approval, and then uh, there was a time where they had to do open bidding that, uh, that a lot of airlines were, were given the, the freedom to be able to bid for the project. But after, after this process, after it took several years, Nigeria government looked at Ethiopian Air and concluded that concerning the fact that they are one of the most successful airlines in Africa, they will stick with the Ethiopian Airlines. All right, thank you so much, Amadin Uyi, for giving us the updates there. We appreciate that.